Thank you very much. I am, uh, first of all, very honored to be a recipient, especially among the people that I just saw get up here and, and talk. CC, you are incredible. Uh, absolutely incredible. Those are not enough adjectives for you. The thing that was very important is the fact that Scotty Thurman introduced me. I wrote his speech. <laughs> and I was making sure he said every word that I wrote down. <laughs> you know, you saw the introduction of who I am and what, what I stand for. I want to say this before I get into thanking the, the committee for giving me this award. But I want to say that it's been trying time for the University of Arkansas this past week. I'd like to have my hats off to, to the athletic director, Jeff Long. Let's give him another round of applause. My hat's off to him. I want to thank Dr. Gerhardt. I want to thank uh, Charles Robinson. And of course, I want to thank the committee. You know, when I think of Silas Hunt, you know, I, I feel funny inside because I can imagine what he went through sitting in a classroom trying to get an education from a law school. Can you imagine sitting there maybe by yourself and you have a professor teaching you some law? You're alone? Then I say to myself, you got people like C.C. Mercer who's still practicing law. It's incredible. These are the people that as a young man, that's all I wanted to be like. That was important to me. The important thing, as old granny would say, is that you must pave the road for those who's going to follow. And that's what happened. CC, you paved some roads. Silas Hunt, absolutely. You pave roads. You know, as I thought about the things that have happened to me in my life and going through racism, segregation, you know, I remember I being the only black kid at a Mexican-American school. Only one. But when they mentioned that word about having more Mexican kids at the school, I taught them for 13 years. And they can pass, too, you know? So I'm diverse. That's what's important. Diversifying, I am, my hat's off to, to Dr. Robbins. The university, I'm happy, even though he was in a classroom alone, they opened the door. They cracked it, and he bust in. They didn't want him in there, but he went on and bust in. That I like. And that's what it's all about. This is the last part, what I was thinking. I'll never forget these words. I would think that Hunt, Silas Hunt, had three things that he had to do. There's three things you have to pay attention to. The one who is indifference to you must pay attention to that person that's indifferent to you. The one who hates you, you must pay attention to that person. And the one who loves you are the important three. The one who is indifferent to you is your friend. Love him. Isn't that amazing? She said, if he's indifferent to you, you must love him because he teaches you self-reliance. 
That teaches you self-reliance. The one who hates you is your friend. Love him. You know why you have to love him? Because he teaches you caution. And the final one, the one who loves you. Love him because he teaches you tenderness. I think of Silas having those three qualities. And that's amazing qualities. As I said before, if I should leave this earth at any point because we're not promised, I'm not worried about what my legacy might be. A lot of folks want, well, what's your legacy? I don't, I wish I could care less about a legacy, but I do care about one thing. I know that if I reach the kingdom of heaven, he's not going to ask me how many games I want. Now, he just might ask me one thing. He just might ask me, how many lives did you touch? That's important. Silas Hunt touched lives. Thank you.